Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Jordan and I'm so happy to have you here today. Today we have some exciting things going on. I have my new GoPro Hero 9 and I wanted to unbox it with you guys on camera and just show you everything that comes with it and just kind of get our first look at it together because I have yet to open the box. If you guys are unfamiliar with the GoPro Hero 9, it is fairly new. I just got it for Christmas and the quality is absolutely amazing. It does shoot in 5K, which like none of my cameras do that, even my DSLR. So I am very, very lucky to have this and very excited to use it and just see what kind of content I can create with this GoPro. So I do currently have the GoPro Hero 3 and it does not have a screen on it. It does not shoot in 4K or 5K at all. The quality is quite poor compared to this upgrade, of course, but I did get a lot of really great use out of it. I've had it for almost a decade now, so definitely got a lot of use out of it and ready to make this jump. The main reason I wanted to upgrade to the 9 was because I work on a cruise ship. If you guys don't know, if you're new and we do a lot of different excursions and we're always on the beach or in the pool or just doing really cool things so the GoPro is an amazing camera to have with you on the go it's nice and small and portable it does also have that wide angle lens which is also obviously incredible for travel I'm also really excited to play with this on the ice and see what kind of skating content I can get so on the side of the box these are just some of the features it does shoot 20 megapixel pictures. It does record in 5K 30 or 4K 60. This GoPro is also waterproof up to 33 feet underwater. It has voice control, slow-mo, data overlays, time warp, you can live stream on this GoPro in 1080p quality. It has super photo and HDR. You can also shoot in RAW. I don't know how to shoot in RAW, so I will maybe dive into that, but so far I have no clue how to do that. There is also a webcam mode and it is touchscreen. So even though it is kind of a simple idea, the thing I'm most excited about about this camera is that it has a screen. The previous GoPro I had does not have a screen, so I could never see what I was shooting. I would have to just check it after the fact Whereas with this, you can check it instantly. So let's open it on up. So, so the GoPro does come in this really nice travel case. It is pretty heavy duty and obviously it just says GoPro on the side. Ooh, oh my God. It is stunning. It's so beautiful, oh my God. So this is just what the inside of the case looks like when you open it on up. I'm going to just take these little papers out right here. So this paper is for the subscription to GoPro. So I guess with the subscription you get unlimited cloud storage, camera replacement, and 50% off of mounts and accessories, and then also $100 off your next GoPro. So amazing. This card right here just shows you how to assemble your GoPro with all of its pieces and how to turn it on. And then on the other side, there's just some GoPro stickers. And then of course you have the little manual right here, which I'll definitely be reading through. There are quite a few accessories, so we're just going to go through them quickly. So first and foremost is just the charging cord. This is how you charge up your GoPro. Just throw it into a computer or into like a little cube. Either way, this right here is like a little sticky car mount or just mount of any kind. So it does have an adhesive back so you can peel this and stick it anywhere. So this would be amazing for the car because you can just put it on the dashboard and slide your camera in. But again, you could really stick this anywhere you want. Of course, it does come with a battery. This is obviously a rechargeable battery. And my parents also did buy me a secondary battery. So now I have two in case this one dies, then I can pop this one in while the other one is charging. I've gotta have my backup, so this is incredible. And then lastly are just these two little pieces. These are used to connect the GoPro to whatever attachment you have. So this just goes through here and then you tighten it, obviously, to secure the GoPro. Now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, actually taking out this beautiful GoPro. So here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. And what a difference between this one and the three. Like GoPro has come such a long way. We're gonna peel off the plastic together. I feel like that's just something we gotta do together.
Oh my God. So it's very apparent this is a beautiful camera. I am so lucky that I have this. I'm so excited to play with this. And also on the bottom, there is just like these two little pieces that pull out and this is used to attach the GoPro obviously, but you could also just like hold it with your hand, you know? This is just so much fun. Actually, let me get my GoPro 3 and show you the difference that we're working with. So here is the three and here is the nine. So as you can see, there is definitely a big difference in size. They are pretty much the same weight. This might be a little bit heavier just cause it is bigger and wider, but not too much of a difference in weight. But oh my gosh, like, I mean, obviously you can see the difference between the two. From the front alone, this one does have a tiny little screen. This is solely to show you how many pictures or videos you have to record, as well as the battery life. I have yet to turn this on, I've got to charge it for you, but the microphone on the three is on the top. They're really, really small. And then on the nine, the microphone is right here. So definitely picks up sound a lot better. And then here are the back side by side. So clearly no screen on this one. And then this one, the entire back side is the screen. And this is a touch screen as well, which is very, very useful. The battery goes in the back on the three, but on the nine, it goes in on the side. And this is just such a sleek look. Obviously, I'm not a professional techie or anything like that, so I couldn't give you any question you wanna know about the GoPro Hero 9. I just thought it would be fun to compare the two just visually and just unbox it together because I love technology and I'm always looking for like the newest and best next thing. She's squinting in the sun. Yeah. There you go. Is that better? But yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and unboxing it with me. I am so looking forward to creating a bunch of cool content for you with this new GoPro Hero 9. If you're watching this and you have a GoPro Hero 9 or you just have a GoPro in general, drop me any tips you have for filming or just using the GoPro below in the comments. It would be really appreciated. Or if you have any recommendations for any GoPro content creators, whether it's Instagram or YouTube, and you want to recommend them, definitely drop those as well because I'm very interested to kind of do some research. But yeah, I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you for watching. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will just see you in my next video. Bye guys!